Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to do a quick review of Hide My WordPress Goals by Squarely. This is a fairly new deal that was added on AppSumo for the last couple of days, but it does end um, within 24 hours. So I believe it ends on September 16th at 9 a.m. So I just recently came across this deal and I thought that it would be useful for a lot of you guys out there. I know a lot of you guys have websites or blogs. If you have a website or a blog, you know how annoying it is to get spammers and hacker bots and things like that. So Hide My WordPress will allow you to increase the security of your website or blog. So let's go ahead and get a plan for this tool and then add it onto my own blog and see exactly the features and how it actually goes about to secure your website. As I mentioned, this deal does end within 24 hours. So if you want to go ahead and grab that, I'll leave a link below this video. And also the plans for WordPress goals by Squarely starts at $59. So for $59, you'll get 10 websites. So you can go ahead and uh, secure up to 10 websites. For $118, you get unlimited websites. And for $177 one-time payment, you get unlimited websites plus white labeling. So very attractive pricing, pretty affordable when you think about the ability, you know, you can resell this um, to other websites and blogs and definitely make your money back very quickly. But if you wanted to just put this onto your own website or a couple of websites in which you own, the single plan would be more than enough. Once you purchase a plan, you'll be able to either download that plugin or log in to your account. So I believe you have to download the plugin and upload it onto your WordPress site. So I've went ahead and uploaded Hide My WordPress Ghost to my WordPress dashboard here. Let's go ahead and activate that plugin. Just before we continue this review, I want to let you know that I recently recorded a full 30 minute in-depth training on how I went from zero to over 10K per month from this YouTube channel. So if you want to go ahead and check out that free training, I'll leave a link below. Okay, so I've went ahead and activated the WordPress plugin, and this is what your dashboard will look like. First, you'll be able to see where exactly your website stands in terms of its security. So for this specific website, I can see that my website security is still weak. Some of the main hacking doors are still available. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the urgent security actions required. So you'll be able to see the things in which you need to change in order um, to really go ahead and improve the security on your overall website. And at the top here, we can see that we need to activate the safe mode or the ghost mode. So let's go ahead and take a look at this to see exactly what it is. So essentially what the safe mode and what the ghost mode does, it changes the predefined paths in which you may have on your website. So a hacker may know exactly how to access your admin or your cPanel um, because of the path in which you have on your website. But this changes um, those paths so that if someone is trying to hack your website, then whatever URL they may have been using before, a path they were using before, um, that will be changed, right? So the chances of them being able to even access your admin or your, or your cPanel will be a lot lower. So this is a pretty nice feature and this is especially useful if you have a bigger website that gets a lot of traffic and you really want to protect your website. Um, obviously, if you're a smaller website, you don't really run the risk of hackers, but it's always good to protect your site. So I've went ahead and changed this to the safe mode and you can even go ahead and simulate your CMS so you can change um, I, I think the path for your CMS uh, by using this specific feature here. And that's all under the level of security tab. If you head down to the admin security, this is where you'd be able to actually change or hide your WordPress admin. So you can actually hide that. So if someone searches up your website slash WordPress admin and tries to log in, um, they wouldn't be able to see that specific page. So if I put this on, I'll be able to hide the WordPress admin path from non-admin users. So if someone's not an admin and they search up my website slash WordPress admin, they wouldn't be able to even try to log into your website. So again, this just deters um, someone if they're trying to hack um, into your uh, WordPress dashboard. And once you make any changes, you want to go ahead and test that just to make sure that you can always get back into your website. So you can do a front end test. This will test the, the new paths um, automatically. And then you also want to do a login test. So the login test will now take you to your new um, login URL just so that um, you're making sure that you can get back into your website. And if you scroll down, you'll also have some other customizations for your security. So you have your login, your Ajax, your user, your WP core plugins, themes, API, firewall and headers, and you have some other options here as well. And once you head back to the dashboard again, you'll be able to see some urgent security actions that are needed. Um, so if you want to go ahead and make any of those changes, go ahead and click on that specific um, um, recommendation and you'll be able to make that change. And once you've made some changes, you want to go ahead and run a full security check. So this will go ahead and check the health status and the security of your full website. And again, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see um, what you passed and things that which you need to improve upon on your site. 
And below the security check, you'll be able to see all of the hide my WordPress ghost features. So you'll be able to see all of the features that are included. And you'll also be able to see if those features are activated on your specific website. And if they're not, you can go ahead and turn those on. So that's a quick overview of hide my WordPress goals by Squirrely. I'm sure that there's other features and functionality of this plugin, but this is my first time using this tool. So I'm still getting used to it, but I wanted to go ahead and get out a review because again, this um, lifetime deal will be expired within 24 hours. And it's a really, really good deal. If you have a website or a blog, you know how important it is for you to secure that website or that blog. So if you want to go ahead and grab this plugin, I'll leave a link below this video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and software reviews until next time stay well